Chase Lee Hockey with the blue futon out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it. We have Believer. It's a South Korean movie. Have I seen it before? Absolutely not. So let me see if I'm a believer of this movie. <laughs> Believer, what's it about? Well, actually, before I say it, this is actually a remake of a Hong Kong movie called Drug Wars. I do think I own Drug Wars. D-R-U-G. Yes, I do. I do own Drug War. Have I seen that one? No. So that's probably a fault on me for going to the remake before watching the real one. But what is this one about? Cops, gangster, who is Mr. Lee? The cops need to find Mr. Lee. Twists and turns, galore. Does it work? Yes. I do think Believer works as a movie, and I enjoyed it. Like I said before watching Murder on the Orient Express, I'm a sucker for these Who Done It? Who is this person? Let's connect the dots with these strings and everything. I'm a sucker for those type of movies. So if you give me a good premise and good acting, good looks, good fight scenes, and a good story, I'm going to be part of it. Yes, is there an issue with Believer? Absolutely. So let me give you the negatives for Believer first. It is, it is a two-hour movie. And there are some scenes where it kind of drops off where you're like, okay, where are we trying to go? Where are we trying to go? And there are some convoluted plot points where you're like, okay, that person is this person. This person is this person. How does this person not know that this person's Mr. Lee and that person's a fake? And then we're doing more twists in terms of how did that person kill this person? So there's a lot of things where you just kind of have to be like, okay, that just surely just happens on the tip of the tongue. Sure. That person just randomly drugged that person and knew for a fact. So you're like, okay, whatever, 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 whatever. So other than the story being a little bit convoluted and the runtime being a little bit too long, I do think it's acted well. The fight scenes that are there, they are spectacular shot. It's fun to watch and it puts you in the nitty gritty of it. I know some people that watch these type of movies want like a fight scene, quick break, fight scene, quick break, fight scene, quick break. And Korean movies really don't do that. Of course, some of them do that for the tropes, but this one's more like a story that will put some good scenes of like, ooh, what can this cop do? Is he really going to do the drugs? Is he really going to go this far deep into what he's about to do? Oh, then we have a fight scene and the actual conclusion. It's kind of like uh, A Night in Paradise. Glorious, amazing movie that everyone needs to watch. It's one of those movies where it's a good story. Story in the very end is just fucking bonkers. This one is not that much of a... Ending's fucking bonkers. It's like it's a good story for the first hour, 50 minutes. Then it gets you a nice fight scene. And then it gives you more of a story and a little bit more of a fight scene. Some people will not like the ending. I had to do some Google searches of what the director was trying to do. And unfortunately, I can't find anything. That's up to the viewers to find out. It's one of those movies where you just don't know what happened. It's one of the ones where something pans out, something happened. So you're like, did that person get killed or did that person get killed? And you really don't know. Or it's more of like suicide, suicide, same shot. Is that person dead or is that person dead? And it makes you wonder, And do I have a conclusion of who shot who? Let me tell you in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. I think Mr. Lee survived. Why do I think that? Because I think the cop was crying at that point in time. I think he just literally gave up in time. But it also thinks... Why would the cop give up? Well, he gave up because he was such good-hearted and people just gave up on the story, so he just gave up. And I think Mr. Lee just is like, I want to be peace, and he doesn't think there's going to be peace if the cop is still with them. Or it could be the cop shot Mr. Lee saying, I'm finally done. I could now live in peace of knowing I completed my mission. I do wish that it kind of told us on that level. I know they're trying to be... Uh, What's it called? Ambiguous. Um, like I said, earache. Ambiguous. I am such a shitty person when it comes to vocabulary. Ambiguous. Ambiguous. Holy cow. So I know they're trying to do that with that style of story. And for me, eh, it's one of those things where like, I really want a conclusion for this one. I understand like for some reason, Inception, you can see it wobble. So you're like, I know that's happening. There is a wobble. because It's not going to come back up. But with this one, you just have a pan out. Bam! What happened at the end? So it's like, eh, please give me some more conclusion. But like I said, I do think Mr. Lee is the survivor at that point. But with Believer, like I said, I liked what I saw on screen. I thought it was a fun watch. I enjoyed the heck out of it. It's stylish. It's fun. 
has some good story plots. But yes, it's a little bit long, and the story can be a little confusing where you're like, I don't know if this goes to here and this goes to here. I don't think it actually can work that way. When you think about it, at the same time, you're like, I understand this character, why he did it. But there's also points where you're like, I just don't understand how that character got to point A to point C. So, Believer will receive a 4 out of 5 blue futons, which equals that 80%. Let's see what the critics and new scores gave this one. Yeah, the critics say 83% with 18 of them. Audience score is 67 with over 50 with no critic consensus. So yes, I'm a believer in this movie. Yes, am I a sucker for Korean cinemas? Ah, cinemas. Absolutely, I love Korean movies to me. Like, for actual crime drama. Like, if it's gangster. I don't know, you got some old school nice gangster movies in this 90s. But then the Korean gangsters now are so much better than what we're doing right now. Uh, pff, Korean cinema is fucking dope. That's all I'm going to say. It's fucking dope. So, do you agree with my 80%? The 83 are the 67. Chase Lee Hockey with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Blue Futon Topia. You Blue Futonians. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And have you ever had blue cocaine before? Have you? I haven't. No, I haven't. Not, not blue. Or white. Or purple. Or black. Or yellow. What color is cocaine?